so many movies have brought the life events of the leading man in Christianity, Jesus Christ, onto the big screen. But the one above all has to be the passion of the Christ. From a movie that was rejected by everyone in Hollywood to becoming the biggest religious movie ever made, Passion of the Christ has its fair share of controversies and this video is all about that. Growing up in a Christian home, the Passion of the Christ director, Mel Gibson, used to read the Bible in bits, not taking it too serious. But later on in life, at his lowest point, he turned to religion and began to meditate. So in his journey back to the Gospel, he read the Bible extensively and was intrigued by the suffering that Jesus Christ had to go through for mankind. It kept ringing in his ears to bring the story onto the big screen. Already a household name with classics like The Man Without a Face, Braveheart, and subsequently Apocalypto. Mel Gibson knew this was a big risk due to the kind of stuff he wanted to portray and his telling of the life of Jesus Christ. And his worry indeed came to pass, as no one in Hollywood wanted to have anything to do with that movie. No one even wanted to distribute The Passion of the Christ after it was done. Everybody, no, no, yeah, it was like a turd, you know. This is not even surprising as Hollywood is a very, very secular industry. It's not an industry where Christian fundamental values are expressed openly. In an interview on Joe Rogan's podcast, Matthew McConaughey was asked if he had difficulties expressing his Christian fundamental values in Hollywood. Matthew then recalled a moment where he was receiving an award in front of his colleagues. And after thanking God, he saw some of his peers who he has prayed with many times go to clap but then stop at the end because they know it won't pan out well for them in the future. Uh, and in some ways hypocritical to me. Mel Gibson found a private distribution company who took the movie and distributed it and the rest was history. Well, the rest wasn't history as there were lots of things that happened after the movie officially came out. The movie was very controversial. While some regarded the movie as a religious and holy experience, praising the sheer effort of the cast, production value, and incredible musical score, some also scrutinized the movie for being too violent and emotionally draining. The Passion of the Christ went on to become the biggest Christian movie of all time and the highest grossing independent movie of all time. The Passion of the Christ was incredibly violent. This was a conscious effort by the filmmakers in order to portray the suffering the Son of Man had to go through. Believe me, I did a lot of research on it. And according to all the research, it was way worse than that. It's undeniable how transformative this movie was and still is. Just imagine you're an actor. Then along the way, you get contacted to star in a role that could possibly ruin your entire career. Well, you don't even have to imagine because that's what happened to Jim Caviezel, the man who played Jesus Christ in The Passion of the Christ. The day Mel Gibson told him about the role, he was stunned but eventually accepted it. Just right after, Mel Gibson tried to talk him out of the role. He told him point blank that taking on this role could jeopardize his career forever. And he goes, do you still want to play this Jesus guy? If you do, you may never work in this town again. On the phone with Mel Gibson, it scared him because he loved his life as an actor. But to give it all up for just one role was scary. Not long after, he felt at peace with the role and fully accepted it. And this is what they had to say. We are all called to carry our cross. If you don't pick up and carry your cross, you will be crushed by the weight of it. And as you are watching this video, your cross is to like and subscribe. I have more interesting content coming up. I promise you don't want to miss it. Out of pure coincidence, he realized his initials JC was the same as Jesus Christ and he was also 33 years, the same age Jesus Christ was when he died and resurrected. Taking on this gigantic role was tough, but actually playing it would turn out to be more tougher for Jim Caviezel. In the filming of the scene where Jesus Christ was doing a seminar on the mountain, Jim Caviezel got struck by lightning and according to his own words, he was lit up like a Christmas tree. Not long after, the assistant director was also struck by lightning when he went to check up on the actor. I know this is a very serious situation, but this reminds me of the time when Oprah Winfrey was like, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. You get hit, you get hit, you get hit, you get hit. Leave Benny alone! <laughs> Ha ha ha!
this natural phenomenon was just the beginning of Jim Caviezel's woes on the Passion of the Christ set. In the scene where Jesus Christ was chastised by Pontius Pilate to physical torture, the props that were meant to be used by the guards were realistic punishment tools. This was a conscious decision by the filmmakers to make the scene look more realistic and really give the suffering feel they wanted to portray. Instead of the weeping post at the back of the actor that was meant to receive the weeping, one of the guards missed his aim and Jim Caviezel was on the receiving end of it. The pain was excruciating. His acting career was already on the line when he chose this role and now his body and mental health was also on the line. I died on the operating table. Dr. Gill and off Dr. Griffin were my doctors. They witnessed it. They brought me back. Against all odds, he managed to successfully act out his scenes perfectly. The dedication from the man deserves nothing but pure admiration and praises. If an actor who is just acting something out and is getting all this problem and all these issues, let's think for a second how the true story went like. You could just imagine what Jesus Christ also went through for mankind. But I'm not here to preach. I'm here to make content. Shadi says she not go up in for the bros. My bros know the play that go up in the bros. I am one of the if you want to make it more fun to the matter. We the up in the clouds. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. I say nobody. I touch your body. Make it real for me. Ah, ah. No time to waste it. No fuck it with it. If you want, want me. I want me. Bros, my bros know the play, they go up in the house. I am one of the if you 